continuing to fill questions for you, Samili. I have a student from our Telegram group asking if he should do the NBMEs prior to NBME 20 in preparation for step one. Look, I've made many uh, YouTube clips discussing the paramounts of doing NBMEs 20 through 30 for step one, okay? 25 through 30, obviously online, 20, 20 through 24. So those 11 forms, 20 through 30, 200 questions performed, 2200 questions is essentially a QBank. You're gonna be screenshotting your incorrects from those forms into a Word document, saving as a master PDF, or as Anki, where the front card is the screenshot of question, back card is the answer choice, okay? You don't, I don't want you writing explanations there, it'll waste your fucking time. But the student nevertheless is asking about the importance of doing NBMEs prior to Form 20. Holy shit, should you do 19, back to 16? I mean, when do we stop, right? And I will address this question here. Bearing in mind, I fucking addressed it like 19 times before. If you go back on the YouTube, plenty of clips. There's no entitlement in 2022 that you're going to look further back than like three, four clips, but I've addressed this question continuously, continually. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. Give the video a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Recently created Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now let me get back to the question here as far as uh, which NBMEs should you do prior to NBME 20? Should you do any NBMEs that are uh, earlier than 20? And the answer is it really doesn't matter. Now that the step one is pass fail, I definitely don't see it as necessary in any regard. Okay. Uh, the same fucking way right now, you watching this clip understand that your 2CK score is really going to fucking matter. Okay. That same degree of awareness where you're like, holy shit, I got an ace 2CK. That's how everyone used to be about step one. Okay, the entire past decade, etc. Okay. I took the step one a decade ago. That's how we always viewed step one. Okay, it had more importance than 2CK. So in the past, until January of this year, 2022, I mean, knocking step one out of the park was really important. And hence, doing NBMEs prior to 20 could be entertained. Okay, I mean, uh, we used to do multiple QBanks for step one, not just UWorld, but trying to really stack QBanks to max the score out. I don't see doing NBMEs prior to form 20 as necessary. Uh, in the event that a student has already uh, finished NBMEs 20 through 30 for assessment, wants an extra assessment perhaps, uh, you know, in addition to UWorld self-assessments or free 120, um, we could have the student do NBME 19 as an example or 18, okay? Um, it's not going to hurt going through the prior NBMEs. The reason I originally... Uh, have said just do NBMEs 20 through 30, why not do 18 through 30 as an example, right? It's because I see doing the newest 11 forms plus UWorld QBank plus my PDFs uh, plus my audio QBank here on the YouTube if you go through the playlist, I see that Tetrad as generally satisfactory, in fact, very fucking effective, okay? So uh, no, it's not mandatory that you go back uh, through earlier NBMEs, okay? That's the answer. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.